Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Nina Rybina's Art Journal Prompts and more. It's June, week three, and so time for me to do another calendar page for my 2020 calendar. The prompt this week is sparkle. Um, and think gems, um, foiled papers, glitter, um, metallic watercolours, metallic paints, uh, treasure gold, Inca gold, anything, absolutely anything. Um, I'm going to be using some of these mica flakes um these were sent to me in happy mail last year by cheryl johnson and they're just absolutely gorgeous they're a natural product that um, um she finds outside her home and she sent me a whole bag of these last year i did do um a project last year with these i made a gecko i don't know whether you can remember um this is what they're like in their natural form um now i've chopped some of these down or just torn them with my fingers I'll show you how I do that um, in a second so I'm just going to be using some very small flakes of these beautiful mica pieces for my project this week now I'm just preparing the background for my artist trading cards. I'm doing three this week um, and I'm working on watercolour paper this time. I want something um, nice and sturdy that's going to hold up to liquid that I'm going to put on in a moment. So I'm just using my Distress paint. These are by Ranger. I think these have got to be my favourite paints um, of all time. I just love the effects that you can get with these. They're just, just beautiful. They blend together so nicely um, and you can see that I'm coming to the end of the purple one here and I'm really having to squeeze it to get the um, paint out and I'm just blobbing that on these have got um, sort of like a foam dabber spritzing with water and then I just want to let this do its thing so I'm just tapping it there just to get those gorgeous drips going and then all these colors will blend together and they they just create this wonderful marbling effect it really is quite lovely you know it really is quite funny because as I'm sat here doing the voiceover for this and editing this video I can see a wonderful forest of um, of trees in this you're so in the moment when you're preparing a piece that you just don't notice until you sit back and, and watch things later quite often um, but just look at all that gorgeous marbling I think that just looks so so pretty and here it is that's where I can see sort of a forest of of purple trees beautiful now I give it a quick zap with the heat tool but decide to keep going and so here it's had a quick dry but I decide to come in and spritz again with water um, and just reactivate those those paints um, again and I'm really glad I did because this is just so so pretty. Um, distress paints take a long time to dry um, they're not like your average ac acrylics and um, and I do sort of end up leaving these for a good couple of hours and you can still see that they're still quite shiny as well to add a bit of stenciling I'm using a um, mask stencil by Pronti which is a Dutch company I do believe um, I think this stencil is called fantasy although it's quite old so I don't even know whether it's um, available anymore I'm using white distress paint but as you can see um, it's reactivating something on my stencil and so I end up with a lovely shade of green but I just think that adds a nice touch to the background now next I want to add some drippage um, and I know you might be thinking oh no don't do this you'll spoil that lovely background it's because I've got um, wisteria in my head um, I'm taking inspiration again from the mood board the wisteria that I took a photograph of um, from my garden and so I'm just adding some dots of two shades of green here a mint and an olive and I think I add some white in a second and then I spritz this with water and just let it drip down the um, trading cards and I'm hoping this will just give me a base to add um, leaves and of course the petals of the wisteria and just give me something to um, work with that's very all organic and once I've finished adding the colour ac across the top I spritz with water and just tap these on my desk just to get those um, drips going and just let them do their thing and then I dry that with my heat tool before coming in to add some more stenciling. I'm using the same Pronti stencil um, but I just want to add a few touches of the lilac. I, I just want touches of, of subtle colour just, just here and there. I'm just going to have to set this to one side to dry briefly before I add some stamping using some permanent inks but I think this looks really pretty so far. 
I've pulled out a couple of shades of green permanent ink here and I'm also using the same stamp that I used for the jelly printed project a couple of weeks ago. This is from a giraffe set but um, I just want those small leaves that are on the tip of the stamp. So you can see that I'm following the drips that I created earlier and I'm just trying to um, get the impression of those lovely falling vines that you get with wisteria. So then I come in with uh, another shade of the green and because I'm trying to create a set here I want one of the cards where the wisteria is falling to the left, I want one where it's hanging centrally and the other where the wisteria is, is hanging to the right, just to add a, a bit of variety. My artist trading cards are still feeling a little bit flimsy so to stabilise them I glue them to a piece of 300 GSM cardstock and you can see that I'm just using a good permanent glue stick for this. I've never had any problems with any of my pieces coming unstuck where I've used the scotch glue stick so I think you know glue sticks really have moved on a long way. I want to add the petals next and so I've put out three colours of distress paint. I've got this um, purpley lilac colour, I've also got um, a grey and a white and I'm using q-tips and dental swabs to add the petals. Dental swabs are very similar to a q-tip but they just have a much much um, smaller tip and so I'm just dotting the colours on. I start off with the darkest colour um, then I give that um, a dry add the purpley grey and then the lightest colour on top um, and I'm really taking my time with this and um, you ju just making sure that I've got the shape of the petals the way I want them. I'm happy with my background and you can see that I've added some darker purple to finish things off as well and so now I want to add my mica so I'm taking the larger shards and I'm just tearing them into smaller pieces. Now of course I know that not everybody has access to mica like this but if ever you want to add a bit of sparkle to a project glitter glue or even wink of Stella would look lovely on this. I'm using regular gel medium on my piece to make sure that the mica sticks firmly to the background. This gel medium is by Golden and it's got quite a thick consistency. And then I'm using a pair of tweezers. I also use a gemstone picker which is um, a bit like a pen with a rubber tip on the end and um, you use it to pick up sequins and, and things like that. Um, I'm not going to make you sit and watch through the whole of this uh, process but you can see that I'm just picking the pieces of mica up and sticking them to the background trying to follow the pattern of the petals that I've already created. Once I've got all my mica down where I want it, I'm just using a piece of deli paper just to burnish it onto the background, just to make sure that those mica pieces don't lift. 
And just look how pretty that is. Isn't the mica beautiful? Now, of course, it needs trimming around the edges. I need to get rid of any of the overhang. So I'm just trimming that off with a pair of scissors. And then finally, I just want to ink the edges. So I'm just using some purple um, Distress Oxide ink um, with, a, with a makeup sponge. Now I really do wish I hadn't done this next step. I add some gloss Mod Podge to the um, tops of the artist trading cards just to seal it and make sure that mica doesn't go anywhere. But unfortunately I really do lose some of that shine. So here are my finished Wisteria artist trading cards. This is the one I'm going to use for my calendar page for this month. Um, I just think these are so pretty. This mica is just absolutely beautiful. Now I have to admit um, these are not as shiny as they were before I put the gloss medium on um, but I think if I hadn't have done that because the flakes are so tiny the ones that I've used here they might have fallen fallen off but um, there we go. But I don't know whether you can remember this piece I did here. This was um, the gecko I did not long after Cheryl had sent me the mica flakes um, and I used alcohol markers to colour this one in and it's just so shiny, it's just beautiful and the background is a piece of textured wallpaper that I think Debbie Bonner sent me in Happy Mail but isn't that just lovely as well? Um, so just to remind you, the prompt this month um, or this week is sparkle which you can interpret in any way you like so you know you sparkly in embellishments, gemstones, um, use metallic watercolours, metallic paints, treasure gold, inca gold, anything, anything sparkly, open to interpretation, glitter glue, glitter um, or even glitter embossing paste, really you know lots and lots of options for this one again this week. So I hope you enjoyed my project and um, if you did as always I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and do let me know what you think in the comments below so I look forward to seeing what everybody else decides to come up with um, and thanks again for watching, see you all again soon, bye for now.